Now, though, it's time for our first award. To present it, I am so honored to welcome one of the great actors of our generation or any other. Get ready. Please enjoy. Hi, it's been a while, and welcome to Quick Bike. With 2022 coming to an end, we're going to break down the best and the worst of gaming, tech, and entertainment of 2022. From the heights of gaming to the lows of corporate greed, let's go! 2022's best of gaming has got to be strong, single player, story driven game. To name a few, we've got Sifu, Pokemon Arceus, Trey, God of War, and Elden Ring. Time and time again as gamers, we've been told that single player games are dying and not lucrative with multiplayer loot box games as a live service constantly being shoved down our throat. But not this year. Not only do they have millions of sales but are even topping charts. Keep it coming devs, single player games are here to stay. But with everything good, there's also the bad. And this year, we've seen one of the most greediest, dirtiest, and disgusting practices in gaming. All of them can be condensed into Diablo Immortal. From shattering fans' expectations with a mobile game. Do you guys not have phones? Yeah, you guys that all have phones, phone, right? To enforcing microtransactions that's literally pay to win. All this while still profiting due to manipulative practices. And it sucks knowing how lucrative it was. These atrocious practices are going to continue for the foreseeable future. The best of 2022's tech is how we're unlocking new horizons. We've got James Webb scoping out the stars with such clarity that if our ancestors saw the pictures, their brains would explode. And it's not just the universe, but also inside of us. With the entire human genome being mapped out, looks like human augmentation is next. Like 2077, crazy augmentations come with evil horror. Well, don't worry. 2022's worst of tech has got you covered with companies like BMW, Tesla, KTM are charging their customers a subscription for vehicle Feature, even though they are already installed. Excuse me? What? Exactly. You spend hundreds and thousands only for a paywall preventing you from using those heated seats that are already there. What's next? I gotta pay to use my BMW signals? You guys done. You know what's best about being Malaysian? Knowing that we Malaysian are absolutely talented in art animation and VFX. That's right, in 2022's Best in Entertainment, we're giving it to our local heroes. With Mecha Amato being voted third place at the Tokyo Anime Festival, beating Spy X Family. And even the countless works our studios have done in global franchises, Marvel and Star Wars. So congrats to all our artists. You artists deserve to be paid what you're worth. Unfortunately, the same sentiments can't be said about Warner Bros Discovery and their handling of the DC EU. They're getting the worst of 2022. First, the cancelling of projects that were already in development. Box office failures like Black Adam and now the reboot of the entire universe. Okay, do what you want. But why you gotta do Henry Cavill dirty, man? Right after he announced his return, he gets kicked? My condolences goes out to all the DC fans out there. And that's it for the best and worst of 2022. We've got some really great games, amazing discoveries, and amazing people with amazing talents. But unfortunately, we're still headed down the path of greed and manipulation. But hey, let's look forward for 2023. Let's hope that we can do more of the show. I mean, isn't this supposed to be a weekly show? Like, it's a weekly show. And it's supposed to start